Five years ago, a group of technical team, precedent by Asian Development Bank, to study the status of Upper River Basin in the country. One of their significant findings, is the severe degradation of our natural resources in the Upper River Basin. Due to conversion of forest lands, unprecedented migration or encroachment, and unsustainable utilization of resources. These particular environmental situation poses vulnerability to climate change, apart from continuous water supply reduction, and soil degradation. With such alarming findings, the technical team with the ADB, proposed to the Philippine government, an intervention to address the issue, by coming up a comprehensive environmental management system. Thus, Integrated Natural Resources and Environmental Management Project or INRAMP, came to existence. The INRAMP, is a seven-year project, spearheaded by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. It is specifically guided by the following objectives. Reduce and reverse degradation of watersheds, and associated environmental services, caused by forest denudation, and unsustainable farming practices. Improve the quality of life of rural communities in the upper river basins, by sustainably managing natural resources and stakeholders' participation. Provide incentives to the local communities, LGUs, and DENR for improving natural resources management. Empower local institution to govern river basins, as an enterprise that generate revenues for conservation, and livelihood. The project covers four priority river basins in the country, namely Chico River Basin in the Cordillera Administrative Region Wahid Inabanga River Basin in the island of Bohol Lake Lanao Basin in the Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao and Upper Bukidnon River Basin in the province of Bukidnon these four river basin has 23 sub-watersheds in 9 provinces and 81 municipalities or cities. It is collaboratively funded by the ASEAN Development Bank, the International Fund for Agricultural Development, the Global Environment Facility, the Climate Change Fund, and the Government of the Philippines. In 2005, the Regional Development Council issued Resolution No. 37, Series of 2005 instructing the DENR CAR to take the lead in the preparation of a master plan and development and management of the Chico River Basin. The DENR CAR took the lead in the preparation of the master plan and pre-feasibility studies with the LGUs of Kalinga and Mountain Province as cool lead agencies. A regional technical working group was organized with DENR CAR and NADA CAR as lead agencies with members from DILG, DOT, DPWH, NIA, DA, BFAR, and DAR. Subsequently, RDC Resolution No. CAR 42 series of 2005 was approved organizing and constituting an interagency committee for the preparation of the Chico River Master Plan. The Chico River Master Plan was then formulated, through series of consultations, deliberations, and workshops. The Chico River Watershed Management and Development Master Plan, was officially endorsed by provinces of Kalinga and Mountain Province through resolutions number 04 and 03, series of 2007 respectively, and the Regional Development Council through RDC Execom Resolution No. CAR, 081, series of 2007. The Chico River Basin, 
is the in-ramp site in the Cordillera region for the upper river basin comprises eight sub-watersheds namely the Kavamaam sub-watershed the Bagmatuli sub-watershed the Surung sub-watershed the Barli Tanudun sub-watershed the Sultan sub-watershed the Connor sub-watershed the Tubuk sub-watershed and Tuwo sub-watershed the Chico River Basin covers 405,894 hectares it lies within four provinces covering 19 municipalities the municipalities of Barley Bayoaco Montauk Sabanan, Sadangat, Sagadak, and Tudian in the province of Mountain Province. The municipalities of Verbalan, Lubuagan, Pasal, Pinukpuk, Risal, Tabuk, Tanudun, and Tinglahayan in the province of Kalinga. The municipalities of Connor and Kabuga in Apayao province and the municipalities of Hungduan and Tinak in Ifugao province. In Ramp committed to conduct developmental interventions such as reforestation or afforestation of about 7,600 hectares assisted natural regeneration of 52,800 hectares sustainably managed natural forest of around 3,900 hectares and agroforestry with 3,900 hectares in the course of implementation in ramp in its intention to assist rural communities targets rehabilitation of 222 kilometers of access roads construction of 1400 communal irrigations provision of 125 potable water supplies and construction of a trading center while rehabilitating the environment the project also intends to invest a biodiversity corridor by establishing three nurseries for mossy forest using indigenous species and assisted natural regeneration of 60 hectares hence the project is budgeted to 2.27 billion pesos however to achieve positive results in ramp with your cooperation, needs to formulate an integrated watershed management plan in each sub-watershed as guidepost in the implementation of project. The government through the DENR as the lead implementing agency have laid down the benefits that can be derived from the INREM project. To uplift the environmental condition, economic status, and social standards for the people and their respective communities. Specifically, it will decrease poverty incidence in the Upper River Basin by 25%, increase rural household income by 30% or 78,000 pesos per annum, increase forest cover to 846,000 hectares in 2025, reduce carbon dioxide emissions from forest activities by 50% or 600,000 tons per year, and reduced erosion rate by 18% or 4,604,714 metric tons per year. The big challenge is, what will be your contribution to make the project a success? We cannot do it alone. We need all of you in this endeavor. Udanun, Udanun, 
Ba ba ba, ikjai na. 